Well, most of us have probably heard of churches blessing children or animals, but today here in Midtown, one church will be going down a different road. It's chrome and metal and wheels that will be brought before God in an unusual service that moves outdoors and onto the streets. Organizers say it's a way to bring people together in fellowship and raise awareness of safety on the roads. The event on May 5th will give new meaning to the term Holy Rollers. In fact, those behind today's blessing of the motorcycles will not only be seeing prayers of protection for the men and women who are dying to get out there to ride, but they'll be holding a worship service in the street, the first ever for the Clinton Avenue United Methodist Church. I want every scruffy leather guy, chains, tattoos. I don't care, darling. You are welcome here. The blessing of the motorcycles was an idea conceived by Kelly's brother-in-law from New Jersey. To boot, he came up with the idea of taking up donations to support the church's Caring Hands Soup Kitchen, which in this economy is feeding more than 100 people each weekday at noon. We have a, a tremendous feeding program here. This, the economic woes that the country has is facing have really put a tremendous amount of pressure on charities and organizations that are helping folks. And our soup kitchen has been in, in existence since the late 1980s, so we've been here a long time. We feed a lot of people. Kelly said pairing the blessing of the motorcycles with the soup kitchen is a good way all around to bring people together on a Sunday morning for a unique church service where the street will become the sanctuary. Yes. We like to think out of the box around here and we like to rethink church. So this is sort of a rethink church idea. And just in case you don't own a motorcycle, well, Kelly said don't let that stop you from coming to the service that begins at 11 a.m. You can come with your rollerblades, your skateboard, your bicycle, any form of transportation that you would like, your feet. If you're a walker and you bring your 10 toes, in fact, if you don't have 10 toes and you only got three, we'll still love you and we'll still bless you. Amen. At the Clinton Avenue United Methodist Church in Midtown, I'm Paula Mitchell for The Daily Freeman.